brain computer interface. Sometimes called the direct neural interface is a system that provides translation of the electrical activity of the human brain into command which can control device in real time. The main goal of the brain computer interface enabling people especially those disabled to communicate and control devices by mere thinking. With the use of BCI can create a direct communication pathway between the human or animal brain and any external devices like computers. So now, we going to present our research own brain computer interface system to you. Enjoy it! Planning Phase In Planning Phase we all group together and make discussion about how we going to conduct this project. We make a lot of research online and found out the requirements. Requirement Engineering In this phase, we had interviewed the deaf mute person. Next video clip will show how we conducted the interview with the disabilities person. Apakah kesusahan yang anda akan hadapi dalam proses pembelajaran? Uh, saya tidak dapat berkomunikasi seperti orang biasa menyebabkan saya menghadapi masalah dalam penyampaian idea kepada orang ramai. Saya tidak dapat berinteraksi dengan rakan-rakan lain dalam proses pembelajaran Walaupun saya mempunyai kekurangan ini Tetapi saya suka bergaul dengan orang ramai Saya menghadapi kesukaran terutama semasa pembentangan. Rakan-rakan tidak faham apa yang saya ingin sampaikan. Phase 2. System Design Here is our brain computer interface system. Currently, this is the login page. This system only allows certain people to use, so it requires username and password. After successfully log in, there are three buttons which allow you to access to your personal information, run the BCI system and run the text-to-speech system. Let's see the BCI system first. In the BCI system, as you can see, the wave signal generated by the brain are recorded. Then using the BCI system, it will process the wave signal and translate it into text. Once it completed translation, we can proceed to text-to-speech system. In this system, the translated text will be converted into audio file, which allow us to understand what had the brain wave signal meant. My name is Jack. I am 21 years old. I am currently studying in University of Malaysia. Phase 3. Development Validation and Verification In this phase, development of our device has completed, and we going to run some test. As you can see, the device is mount onto the head of the tester. Brain signal will be amplified by the device, and sent to our DCI system for further processing. Data collected then will be translate into text and further sending to text-to-speech system. The result of our test run on BCI system is good. 85% of the given tests are passed. We can get 100% accurate due to the signal received by the device still weak. 
further improvement will be done. Here is our result in text-to-speech system. This is the result of the test run for our VCI project. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, A, B, C, D, E, G, I, 